really hate that I have to say anything about this and that I have to address this, but it seems to have just gotten like way out of control. First and foremost, I am not a colorist. I know everyone wants to deem me that. They want to make all these accusations about me because of my own skin tone, but I don't claim that because that's not me. I feel like people forget that I have had issues or disagreements with every single woman on the show for whatever reason, for whatever thing that we disagreed upon at some point in time, irrespective of the hue of her skin. So I always start at a hundred with people until you give me a reason to take it down. All right. That is all that has transpired. And I still care about the women on this show. And I hope, I hope that everyone, including them, knows that nothing that I will ever feel about you is because of your color of your skin. Ten twenty one on the clock, on the dot, I'm on my laptop giving a tea. Doom, 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 doom. I got a real funny, funny story that came to me. Hey, so pull up, anticipating a good read. I won't keep you waiting. I got plans to spill this tea in places y'all never seen, and you know what I mean. Shall y'all say I should go for a record deal? I mean, why not? Because a lot of people feel like Mellowhead is the next Mariah Carey and everything. So if she's the next Mariah Carey, surely I could be the next Whitney. Um, y'all drop down um, and hit up, should I say, the social medias. Um, the channel, Instagram, the TikTok, uh, the Snapchat, and the Twitter, and all of that. All of those handles are in the description box. Um, just click on the description box. The link is right to it. Just click on the link. It'll take you right there. Follow it if you hadn't. If you got any tea that you want to send me and you don't have social media, email me at tlsmithtalk at gmail.com. Again, that link is also in the description box. Just click on it. It's going to take you right there. Those of you guys that would like to donate, the PayPal and Cash App is available. Those links are down in the description box as well. Go on ahead and take advantage of it if you would like to. Ciao. Look, at this point, I don't know. All right? I don't know. Really ain't no story to really go with this, but um, this was something that was being sent to me throughout the night, child. And I woke up this morning and decided to listen to it or whatever the case may be. And um, not only that, um, they probably touched on it last night, don't know whether you like it or not, panel. I don't know, but me, Sakina, and Scotty, we kind of had a little talk about it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, earlier this morning with this situation. Now, let, let me just say this. Y'all know how I am. I'm the first person to tell y'all that not everything is a colorist situation. And I stand by that 1,010%. I do not believe every th every time a light skinned person get into it with a dark skin per or a brown skinned person it's it's automatically because of their damn skin tone i ain't never been that way and i'm not about to be that way now do i think ashley in her situation cuz i'm assuming they talk about big face so do i feel like ashley doesn't like big face ass candace cuz it's past two minutes right now do I feel like she don't like Candace big face ass because of her big? <laughs> Hold on, girl. I'm hooked up to a damn uh coin. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I didn't think I was gonna have to pull these out, but I guess I'm gonna need it for this with y'all. <laughs> now, now, uh, as I say. Do I feel like Ashley is uh, being colorist towards Candace big face ass? No. I don't think it got nothing to do with the color of her skin. But what I will say is do I feel that Candace, I mean, not Candace, do I feel like Ashley carries coloristic or colorism or whatever you want to call it? Do she carry undertones of that? I can agree. Yes, she does. And this was what Sakina brought up this morning. Shout out to Sakina, by the way. 
This is what uh, I remembered from her this morning when she brought up um, how she used the terms aggressive and ferocious when it came down between her and Wendy. But she never said that ever, should I say, she never says that about Dickum Down, who constantly, who once again showed plenty much aggression towards another woman this season. Not to mention, when she pulled up on you down to uh, you and Michael's Madagascar-ass restaurant that, that had Michael written all over, talk about some damn kangaroo meat. Girl, ain't nobody eating that right here. But when she pulled up on you down to your restaurant and was doing all of this all down to your face, you didn't call her aggressive and ferocious. I would think her showing up doing all of this is way more aggressive or ferocious than you and Wendy having a sperm mass match against each other. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Dick, did, was she a little bit aggressive when she came off on you? She was. And I know people go get mad at it, but girl, fuck y'all. She was. Wendy had a lot of damn smoke for Ashley for no damn reason. She was. But the point of the matter is, you will call it out when it comes to Wendy. But you don't say shit when it comes to Robin. And I don't see how in the very well hell you couldn't, considering you experienced the same rap to that. When she showed up down to your Zaboomafu, again, I say, ass restaurant, doing all of this. And guess who was with her ass then? Her kitty clicking, carpet munching, uh, 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 pussy scrubbing together ass sister, Tacky. She's around for everything. And that's another thing that I said, too. I said, while I don't think you colorist, you chilling around them two bummy assholes don't 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 help your argument no damn better because they are clearly colorist. They are. They're both clearly. I think Robin is 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 colorist by association because anybody that Giselle doesn't like for whatever her reasons are, she's just going to follow follow up. She's an accomplice of it. OK, so she's just as guilty as the bitch that I believe is actually colorist. And that's Giselle Bryan. And she proved that second season when it came down to Monique. That was proven and shown then. But of course, nobody wants to talk about that because of Monique. But if we're going to call out the color, if y'all feel like Ashley was being colorist towards Candace and that's why all of this is going on, then how can people not feel the same way about Monique when she came on second season and Giselle got mad at her all because she had four homes? But Mia came up here and I'm more than sure Mia and G got way more homes than that. And it won't none of that. I don't know, girl. What y'all think? I mean, do y'all think she colorist or whatnot? My opinion, I don't think she's colorist, but I do agree that she does hold the undertones. She do. She do. Because I feel like if Bravo Andy was to bring this up at the reunion and say, well, Ashley, I mean, you did call Wendy a, a ferocious or whatever when y'all went through what y'all went through, but Robin actually tried to fight you and you never once used that. So if you're going to call that that, then can Kenton, you also call what you and Robin went through as the same thing? I wonder what her answer is going to be. I wonder if she's going to be like, well, you know what to be and it's no shade, friend. But yeah, it was. It was hella aggressive. Hella aggressive. You showed up down to my restaurant, down to working hours. You didn't give a damn about the people, the patrons that was there, how much money we could lose from that, how much bad publicity that me and my husband could get from that, and so and so and so. Like you didn't think about that. So it's 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 like I wonder would you come out and finally admit that that was aggressive, and the way she, that she walked up on Monique was aggressive. And the way that she walked up on Dan Wendy was aggressive. I wonder if you if, if if you would admit that. I think that would smooth things over for a lot of people, Ashley, if you would just admit that. I don't think people really think that you was a colorist, but it's like I say, you hang around two holes that are, and you do carry undertones when it's convenient for you. 
So it's like, if you really don't want people to think that about you, then girl, change it. It's all about change behavior. Don't stand up for the foolishness. If you know it's foolishness, say it's foolishness. That's what's going to make people be on your side and be like, yeah, I don't like her, but I'm not going to say that she a color is <laughs> I don't like her. But I ain't going to say that she a colorist either. You know, people will give you that much, Ashley. But the more that you sit around here and you're just complicit in your silence and your fuck shit when it comes to tacky and, and, and dickless, then people are just going to... And, and then you want to be up their asses so damn bad. You're always going to be lumped in right along with them. I'm just saying. That's all. I ain't got no more to give y'all. Y'all jump down in the comments and y'all let me know y'all feelings. Let me know what y'all think. Um, You know, all, look, man, don't be up in the comments arguing with one another, okay? If a person don't feel like it's, she's being a colorist and blah, 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 y'all let them have that damn opinion just like you want them to have, to accept your opinion that y'all think that she is. Like, y'all be grown. See, that's why I don't like having these type of conversations around here on this channel. All right? Because y'all get aggressive and ferocious with each other, and I don't give a flying fuck about what your skin hue is, bitch. All right? All of y'all get real aggressive and real mad and angry with each other down in the comments because you want somebody to believe something that they don't want to believe. Everybody grown here. All right? Just put your opinion down and move on, sis. Bye.